Hey gang, and welcome back to a, another video here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pine Pines. I am Shantae, and to all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing sis? Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. And if you are new to our channel, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button so you can join the family. We would love to have you. So on this video, we are doing a Halloween edition. I wanted to do um, Doja Cat this year. So I picked out two of my favorite looks and it was really really hard to like pick out just two because she has so many iconic looks like the first look i'm going to do is her zodiac sign look that she did in um i think the music video is called you right her and the weekend are featured in this video so this is uh, what we are going to be doing for this video so she has her she's a libra so she has a libra zodiac sign on the back of her head and um i'm not a libra i am a taurus i'm but i was born may 4th <laughs> hey taurus gang how you doing so um i am going to try to attempt to make my zodiac sign and put it on the back of my head i bought this styrofoam circle thing from um michael's it's a 10 inch uh diameter um a little bit of geometry there so i'm gonna adjust it to where it's gonna sit on my head like this so i feel like i probably need to cut like this much off just right here and then what we take off i'm going to then glue to the top so we can create those nice bull horns so sounds easy enough I'm hoping that my handyman clearance skills can kind of come into play and help me with making this. And then I'm just going to take some simple braiding hair and just wrap it around it. I am going to glue it. Um, I'm debating whether or not I want to use hair glue or just super glue. I think I'm going to probably go with the super glue because it dries faster. Now, how I'm going to attach this to my head, I haven't figured out yet. And yeah, my lip, before you know anybody starts like, girl, what's going on with your face? So. I'm having like severe allergic reactions this fall. I'm allergic to ragweed and that is what is like killing me this season. It has been like a huge Debbie Downer on my productivity because I just feel absolutely hideous when I have a swollen lip and I'm super self-conscious and just, I don't want to post anything. I just want to wallow. But I decided to pick my ass up and I was like, nah bitch, we are going to dust ourselves off we're gonna get this work done either way, and we're just gonna wait for the steroids, the Zyrtec, the Benadryl, and all the other 15 different pills that we just popped start to kick in. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Hey babes, voice over me here. So I first started out just using a regular kitchen knife to uh, cut this styrofoam, and um, I'm glad I purchased two of these diameters because I ended up messing up the first one so I was just like, okay let's do it again with the second one guess what I ended up messing up that one too so I was kind of getting pissed off um this is me like contemplating whether or not I want to just throw everything away and just start all over run back to Michael's and buy a new one but I decided no I'm going to try to piece these together so I can make what I needed so the pieces that I pretty much effed up I'm gluing them back together and I'm trying to create the look that I need and it was it was very difficult but but I just had to take my time, take a few steps back, and realize what I needed. So yeah, um, at first I had cut too small of a piece, so it didn't fit my head. So then I tried to go back, cut some more off, then it was too big for my head. So yeah, it was just a bunch of playing around trying to figure out the correct measurements. So I decided to go with the super glue. I definitely burned my fingers so many times trying to wrap this stuff around. So definitely work in sections when using the super glue. Um, if you do choose to go with the hair glue way, probably keep a blow dryer with you so you can kind of zap it as you're moving along so it doesn't take as long to dry. Um, I definitely prefer the super glue way. I just kept burning myself. So I just, I'm just wrapping it around. Very self-explanatory as you can see here. Just be cautious. <laughs> okay, so I finished it. So um, there's a little bit of white still showing. So I'm just gonna get my hair spray that sprays out, you know, 
the hair color. And I'm gonna just spray it all down and I'm gonna make sure I spray here as well so you won't be able to see those. So, so in the video, she kinda has like this natural glam, no makeup, makeup look. Um, she does a lot of like gold. Um, her eyebrows are like really, really sharp and pointed and they don't really have much of an arch. They kinda go outward. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. My lip is starting to go down a little, so now it looks like I just got Botox. <laughs> All right, so I didn't have any glue, glue sticks or anything to like glue down my eyebrows. Like I be seeing people do that when they're trying to like draw on a new eyebrow. So I try to just cover it up with some concealer, but my eyebrow hairs are like extremely coarse and extremely curly. So I ended up just shaving them off at the end of the day. But I'm going in with some concealer first. I conceal all of my important areas, definitely under my eyes because I'm a mama three, okay? I'm, I'm tired, okay? I go in, I smooth that all out, and then I'm gonna go in with my contour. I contour, of course, under the cheekbone, around my the perimeter of my forehead because I got a five head, and around the outside of my chin and kind of around the outside of my lip there because I have a lot of like pigmentation. I'm a lot darker around that area. So I like to kind of even that out. And of course I contour the nose. And then I'm gonna go in with another brush and I'm gonna feather that all out. Make sure it's nice and blended. Make sure you can't tell the contour from the concealer so it doesn't have like this nice sharp line. I'm blending that all in. And then of course, blend out that nose contour. I'm going in with some baking powder. I use the Beauty Bakery in the color Casanova. It's their little flower, love that stuff. I'm then going in with a Morphe palette for my contour and I just use one simple color. She also has freckles in the video. I didn't have a freckle pen so I had to use my black eyeliner and then I went back over it with some concealer to kind of lighten it up a little bit. I'm going very heavy on my blush because she uses a lot of blush and a lot of highlight as well so I'm using and a gold by ColourPop and it's a nice pretty shimmer. Now time for the eyeshadow. So she's pretty nude on the eyes. It's just like a brown that she kind of goes very in deep with the in the crease of her eye and then it, she makes it very sharp and pointed so I cleaned it up with some concealer and then I'm going to go over the lid of my eye with this like barely white kind like a cream color eyeshadow and it has a hint of shimmer in it I'm adding my mascara and then I'm going to add my lashes and that's pretty much the it for her makeup her lips she used a uh, lip gloss I just used um, a liner and a clear lip gloss blended that all in and that was pretty much it for the makeup now let's talk about this wig install because this is what gave me a headache okay so I was deciding whether or not to go with a wig or to go with my natural hair I definitely opted out for the wig because I didn't want to cause any damage to my head trying to attach that headpiece to my hair so I took one of my lace frontals it's this is a I think a five by five lace frontal from love me hair and I'm just laying it down it is definitely not perfect because I I didn't really care I ain't gonna lie um, so I'm gluing it down using some even forever glue I let that sit for a little bit and then I had to call in my oldest daughter to help me attach this thing so I went back in with with my hot glue, I definitely should have used the hair glue for this part because it was kind of dangerous trying to wrap this stuff around without burning my hands. And then I took some braiding hair and kind of tied it at the base of uh, my wig and the headpiece to kind of keep it from wobbling like back and forth and that definitely helped. And then she had these two little braids on the side as her like sideburn. And then I'm gonna lay my edges. Don't talk about my edges, y'all already know that I struggle enough with trying to lay edges. I tried to do this one little curl. <laughs> this is the best I could do, okay? Don't, do not judge me, okay? My little, little spider, or my little Superman curl, okay? Sitting up there. She was trying her best, all right? And then that is it for the hair and the makeup. This is now my costume part. So she has like a goddess outfit, but I didn't really want to spend money on no goddess outfit. So what I did was wear one of my white top swimsuits and just wrap some cheesecloth around it and boom, done. All right, y'all, so I have finally finished. <laughs> this look um, I added on these uh, press on nails um, they're like these Halloween ones um, that I purchased from Walmart they're supposed to be like extra extra long this is probably the longest I've ever had nails and I just took some uh, good old acrylic paint 
Um, I tried like getting up and walking downstairs and I was hitting all of the freaking walls and doorways. It was so freaking annoying. But that is the end of this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this completed look in the comments. Let me know what you like. The nails, like isn't it giving just goddess, isn't it? Like, <laughs> We will be doing another Doja Cat look during our seven days of Halloween. We hope to catch y'all on that, that video. We will see y'all on the next one. Be blessed and be safe.